Hi, friends. Since we're starting Butterfly Week today, Mr. G wants to read us the book called From Caterpillar to Butterfly, okay? From Caterpillar to Butterfly, and this is going to be an informational text, right? And so will it have illustrations or will it have photographs? This one's going to have photographs because it's real life and it's going to—it's here to inform us. So not really to tell a story, but to inform us. What is a butterfly? A butterfly is a type of insect. Insects have three pairs of legs, making six legs altogether. The wings of a butterfly are covered in many tiny scales. Mr. G did not know that. The scales are usually patterned and colored. An insect's body has three parts. The front part is the head. It has eyes and a mouth, so we see the head. The thorax is the middle part, so right there's the thorax, where the legs and the wings are attached. And then the abdomen is the back part where the insect digests its food, so that is the abdomen. So it has three sets of legs and three body parts, the head, the thorax, and the abdomen. And that is a very pretty blue butterfly, isn't it? The story of a butterfly. A butterfly starts life as a little egg. It will hatch into a hungry caterpillar. A butterfly has four stages in its life cycle. First, the egg, then the caterpillar, the pupa, and then the adult. The story of how an egg grows into an adult butterfly is called a life cycle. Does anyone know what kind of butterfly these um, orange ones are? We see them a lot around here. Those are monarch butterflies. And this week, Mr. Geo posts a story about monarch butterflies from Epic, but if you want to, you can listen to that one. A new life begins. In spring, female butterflies look for safe places to lay their eggs. She lays them under the leaves where they are hidden from view. So she lays them under. Monarch butterflies lay their eggs on milkweed plants. The eggs stick to the leaves, okay? So they stick right on the leaves. Different types of butterflies lay their eggs on different plants. Peacock butterflies choose nettles. These plants have stinging hairs. The stings stop animals from eating the nettles and the butterfly eggs. Nettles are a safe place for the peacock butterfly to lay its eggs. The eggs hatch. A few days later, the eggs hatch and a tiny yellow caterpillar comes out of each one. Caterpillars spend most of their time eating, so they grow quickly. So we see that's what they look like when they're born. And then within a couple days, and then they start to get bigger and bigger. So monarch caterpillars become stripy as they grow older. A caterpillar is also known as a larva. When a caterpillar molts, it wriggles out of its old skin. As a caterpillar grows, its skin becomes too tight and it breaks. The caterpillar sheds its skin, revealing a new one underneath. This is called molting. Look at that big caterpillar on the bottom with the stripes. Staying alive. A caterpillar is soft and juicy. Lots of other animals want to eat it. But there are some clever ways to stay alive. A monarch caterpillar eats milkweed plants. The leaves are poisonous, and they make the caterpillar taste bad. The caterpillar stripes warn hungry birds that it is poisonous. So because of the stripes, birds know it's poisonous. Many caterpillars are green, so they blend in with their surroundings. This is called camouflage. And some caterpillars have sharp spines on their bodies. A green caterpillar on a green leaf can be very hard to see. Making a pupa. Caterpillars grow fast. After about 14 days, a caterpillar is ready to change into a pupa. This is the next stage of its life cycle. One, a caterpillar makes a silk thread and uses it to hang from a leaf. Two, it molts for one last time. The pupa is already formed under the caterpillar's skin. Once the skin is shed, the pupa hardens. The pupa is tough on the outside to protect the insect inside and the caterpillar begins to change inside the pupa. What's it going to change into? A pupa is often camouflaged. It is green, brown, or gray and hidden under a leaf. A butterfly appears. After two weeks, the pupa turns dark. Something amazing is about to happen. 
The orange wings of the butterfly can be seen inside. The pupa cracks open. The butterfly climbs out. It sits on the empty pupa case. Then it spreads its wings so they can dry. It rests for a few hours before it can fly. An adult butterfly does not grow anymore. Male and female monarchs look similar, but males have small dark spots on their back wings. <clears throat> Butterfly life. Butterflies flutter around searching for food. They feed on sweet, sugary nectar inside flowers. Most adults live for just a few weeks. It is mating time. Male butterflies stop looking for food. They look for females instead. Once the butterflies have mated, the female lays her eggs and a new life cycle then begins. So they don't live for very long, just a few weeks. A long journey. As the summer comes to an end, monarch butterflies start an amazing journey called a migration. They fly to warmer places such as Mexico. The journey can cover thousands of miles and takes more than two months. Millions of monarch butterflies spend the winter resting on trees. In spring, the butterflies set off to their summer homes. On the way, they mate their young change into butterflies and continue the journey. The monarch butterflies wake up when warm weather arrives. And that is the end of From Caterpillar to Butterfly. So it starts as a butterfly, it lays an egg, and then it turns into the caterpillar, and then that caterpillar turns back into a butterfly. Pretty cool, I know. I hope you enjoyed that book.